Hi guys, Blunt Truth. I'm finally getting around to doing some sharpening videos. Many of you have sent me PMs asking me to show how I sharpen my knives, how I get them scalpel sharp. And I kept putting it off and putting it off because, to tell you the truth, it's a big project because I'm not going to cut any corners. I'm going to drag you right through the every detail right to the end of the process and there's nothing exciting about sharpening a knife so let me tell you right now if you know how to sharpen your knives and get a satisfactory edge on them you're happy with what you can do just click the little X and uh, watch something else because this isn't exciting but if you have trouble sharpening your knives if someone's told you you take a stone or a hone, diamond, anything and do it go like this and you've tried and you've tried and tried and you can't get a satisfactory edge you can't do it then you're like me because I can't do it I can't do it that way I've tried and tried and tried and tried and I'm never gonna you know be able to achieve a decent edge that way so if you can just shut it off right now and don't watch me if you can't if you want to know how to do it I'll show you so that even if you're a 10 year old boy that's never even touched a knife when I'm done if you do what I say you'll be able to pick up a dull knife and the very first time you do it without any practice you'll be able to put a razor sharp edge, a shaving edge on that knife the first time. No practice required. It will cost you $65 for the sharpening kit I use and $10 more for a thick leather belt which is very important. 75 bucks once a one time in your life investment 75 bucks and that will last you the rest of your life. I don't care if you shop in a knife a day or two knives a day. The rest of your life, it'll do you. You'll, you won't have to invest any more money. And I do a lot of shopping. And I've had my shopping system and been using it for years. I don't remember when I got it. Maybe seven or eight years ago. So, if you're still watching, I assume that you're one of those ones that can't sharpen well and wants to uh, learn another method to get a razor edge on all your knives and keep them that way. So let's go on with the boring details. First off, let's talk about the edge. To know if a knife needs sharpening or to test and, and um, see how sharp it is while you're sharpening, you don't have to shave. This won't shave. This is dull. I've been beating on this Spyderco Centafani 3 because I'm getting ready to review it and I've taken it out for a few days because I wasn't happy with my experience level with it to review it so I've been using it and beating it and putting it through the paces so it's dull you know it won't shave of course if it won't shave I won't do my little push cut the paracord test but you know what? All these shaving and paracord put cutting, it's a visual demonstration to show the camera, to show you guys at home how sharp the knives are while I'm doing the reviews. If you're at home with a knife, all you need is light and your eyeball. You don't need to cut anything and you can tell exactly how sharp any knife is. You can tell exactly how it's ground if there's any damage chips flat spots everything you can tell everything about an edge with just a light in your eyeball what works really good is a desk light like this one you need a direct light about five or six inches away from the edge the room should be fairly dim so that the primary light hitting the blade is the little light right over a flashlight will work 
I use this desk light, but a flashlight works. <clears throat> and all you do is just point the edge, hold it directly under the light so that the light is lined up with the edge and the edge is lined up with your eyeball. And you just tilt it back and forth, move it around a little bit, and look at the edge. And you'll see exactly what's wrong with it. It sounds very common sense and elementary, but a lot of people don't realize. If you're looking at an edge that's perfect, that's absolutely scalpel sharp, beyond shaving sharp, scalpel sharp, you can't see the edge. You will not see the edge. You'll see a dark, a darkness, a blackness of the grind of the edge. But the very tip edge will be completely invisible. There will be no light reflected back at your eye. If there's any dullness, any chipping, any imperfection in the edge, you'll see it. You'll see exactly where it is, exactly how dull it is, exactly how bad the chipping is, everything, just by looking at the edge like that under a direct light. I don't know if you can see, this is pretty um, beat up, pretty dull. It's not chipped or anything, but it's dull. It reflects a lot of light back right at the edge. You see a silvery white line right down the edge. A little thicker and brighter in some spots where it's a little duller. <clears throat> so, that's how you can tell. Okay, And while you're sharpening, I use the light. I don't cut things. I, I, I sharpen until I hold it under the light and I can't see the edge at all. And then I'm done. And as a final test, at the very end, maybe sometimes I might shave a little hair or pop a paracord just as a final satisfy you know a final thing but it's really not necessary I still do it it's not necessary you can see how sharp it is so anyway enough about that there are many different sharpeners there's many different methods there's you know there's ceramic rods there's stones uh, natural stones and there's diamond stones, which the diamonds are impregnated on top of uh, metal, with kind of glued, diamond fragments glued to a plate of metal. The ceramic rod method used by the Spyderco Sharp Maker, which I did use, and that is not the method that I use now, because there's problems with the Spyderco Sharp Maker. One is it's ceramic rods. Yes, it sharpens excellently. If you have a chip in your edge, or if you're trying to reprofile or take any, take off any significant amount of metal at all, the ceramic rods don't get the job done. You can't reprofile with a shop maker. Plus, it only offers you two angles. You can't get rid of a chip unless you want to sit there for a week sh scraping away metal on the ceramic rods because they just don't take away enough metal. And forget about reprofiling. It just it take you a year to reprofile an edge down five degrees or something. It's, it just doesn't work. So I go with diamonds. I don't like ceramic. I don't like natural stones because natural stones will clog when you when you when the metal flakes off on a natural stone. It goes into the little pores in the stone and clogs them and then you gotta add water and oil and eventually the stone just doesn't work plus it grinds away and you end up with a bowed shaped surface that makes it even harder to sharpen they suck I, to me they suck sharp maker sucks you still have to hold the perfect angle on a sharp maker you still have to hold the edge straight up and down and I can't get a scalpel edge the way I want it with a sharp maker and I can't reprofile which I like to do I like my edges reprofiled down to a sharp angle <clears throat> so at the start of part two I'm going to show you what I do use to sharpen and then we're going to do a little sharpening this part I see I'm running out of time so watch part two and I'll show you what I use thank you